Good morning everyone, Gadjin here with another video for you and in this Capture One Pro tutorial, I'm gonna talk about workspaces and how you can customize them to your working style. Let's get this started. Welcome back everyone. So I talked about it previously in many other videos and in this video I'm gonna talk to you about how you can control it to your liking but workspaces. Workspaces in Capture One Pro are really powerful. It basically allows you to customize how you work and how you edit to your liking. If you go to Window and then Workspace, I'm gonna go to Default right now. So when you start Capture One Pro for the first time, this is what it will look like if you import your images, okay? Um, you basically will have a sidebar with all your images here. You'll have a bunch of tool tabs here. This is what it looks like. This is also a tip I mentioned before. If you go to Window, Workspace, Migration, this will mimic the layout of Lightroom. It's not exactly the same, but it gets you pretty close so that visually it looks like what Lightroom looks like. If you're coming over from Lightroom, it just makes that transition a little bit easier. Under library, you have your organization of folders and files and where you can find your images. Here's keyword searching, your keyboard library, the metadata for you select an image and a filtering system here. You can go under the other tool tabs and you'll see an exposure tab and under here is the bulk of your tools. You also have an adjustments tab and this is where you'll find your styles, your presets, along with your adjustments clipboard if you're copying adjustments from one image to another. You also have your output tab and this is where you'll process your images and export them and control those settings. So I won't go into the rest, let's just go back to default. Capture One opens like this and let's just say that you wanna to go to a more unified system, okay? I generally will remove all the tabs and with this setup, I have quick access to my entire library, I have quick access to all my edit tools and I have access to my process recipes as well as tethering. More often than not, I am editing in Capture One than tethering, if you're looking at the ratio, uh, just because that involves shooting, and I'm not shooting in terms of time as much as I am editing, if that makes sense. Anyway, keep that at the end. In here, under your exposure tab, you can actually add more tools. So you can add a tool, for example, uh, let's say we wanna do sharpening. So as you can see, the sharpening tool has been added. We can add layers, we can add a library even if we wanted to. You can go in and add any tool you want and organize them simply by clicking and dragging them. This way you have an exposure tab that goes in a process that's akin to your editing process. That's not all. You can actually right click and customize your toolbar here and what will happen it looks a little intimidating we have a bunch of tools that you can have quick access to I like to copy and paste adjustments often I also like access to the grid um, I also want to be able to quickly see exposure warning along with focus mask and just for the sake of design I want a little bit of space here between this tool and my custom buttons here. But you can go ahead and add quick tools that you use often right into your toolbar. Hit OK. So for example, you hit this, you can see your overexposed, underexposed areas. You can bring up your grid and you can also copy adjustments, paste adjustments, all that kind of stuff. But more importantly, and I recommend this, when you get to a place that you like, go to workspaces and save your workspaces. So for example, I'll show you the one that I'm working with. This is the one that I have saved. And essentially what you can see is you have a library tab, you have this exposure tab of my own that has the bulk of the tools here and a lot of them I do use and interact with. I have my capture tab and my process tab. This simplifies it for me. I've also set it up so that the sidebar automatically hides. I see more of the image and this is how I work. This tool is now customized for the way I process my images. So a great feature with Capture One Pro. 
Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you are interested in Capture One Pro, you can start your free trial today. The link is in the description. And if you decide to purchase, please do consider using my code. It's my first name, Gadgen. It really does help the channel and supports me in making these videos. Again, we wanna make sure that we get you as comfortable, as confident with this tool that professionals choose to edit their images. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.